Hey everyone, welcome to Feezycom's YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you step by step how to configure Bluetooth modules using Feezycom serial port and Feezy Blue app. If you find this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Feezycom serial port. First, you need to download the Feezycom serial port for Windows, which can be found on the Feezycom app gallery. Before using it, make sure to install the drivers, you can find it on Feezycom official website. Once everything is set up, you can connect your serial development board to your computer. The LED indicator should blink slowly, which means the module is searchable and connectable. Open Feezycom serial port, this is the sending area, and this is the receiving area. Choose the correct serial port here. Make sure the serial port is in the open state, usually, when there is a serial port, the tool will automatically be in the open state. You can input at commands in the send area to query, read, and other settings. Make sure to check send new line when sending commands. For example, sending at plus COD to get the device type, send at plus mode will get the Bluetooth protocol, send at plus power will get the transmission power, and so on. There are also some shortcuts to quickly access basic module information such as device name, version, MAC address, and baud rate. For a complete list of commands, refer to the module's programming manual. You can find all the commands here. Feezy Blue app. You can find it on your phone's app store or download it from the Feezycom official website resources app. After installation, make sure to enable Bluetooth and location services on your phone to allow Feezy Blue to scan nearby Bluetooth devices. Now open the Feezy Blue app. You will see a list of connectable modules. You can search for devices based on BLE or SPP protocols here. You can also filter the search by RSSI and device name. Click on a device name to connect. Once connected successfully, it will show connected here. Click on Configuration. You can view module information such as MAC address, software and hardware version, and manufacturer information. Below are the data information for sending and receiving. Fiesi Blue and Serial Port can communicate with each other. For example, if you send 1, 2, 3, 4 in Serial Port, Fiesi Blue will receive 1, 2, 3, 4. If you send 4321 in Fiesi Blue, Serial Port will receive 4321. To configure the module with Fiesi Blue on your mobile phone, similar to Serial Port, you will also use at commands. On the bottom of Fiesi Blue homepage, Settings, Parameter Modification, enter the initial password 20138888 to access a custom command. Input at plus name equals FSC BT 1026. Here, check this option, click Start, select the connected device, and it will execute the command you send. Refer to the specific product's programming manual for other commands. Back on the homepage, there is an over the air upgrade function. Click on it, select the device you want to upgrade. You can either get firmware or select the firmware file for the upgrade, which you can obtain from our technical support. Make sure your phone's Bluetooth is paired with the Bluetooth module during the upgrade process. If you see a Bluetooth pairing request pop up, click Pair. If it shows Upgrade failed, just click Start Upgrade again or exit Fiasi Blue and retry. Okay, this is the end of this video, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or contact Feezycom team. Thanks for watching.